Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to go out to the west side for a quick hitter, talk about the Genovese crime family. We're always uh, breaking down the west side because, as you know, you know, it's like they are the Ivy League, the Cadillac of LCN in America. It's like covering the NFL. You got to cover the Cowboys. Uh, covering the NBA, you got to cover the Lakers. Um MLB, you got to cover the, the Yankees and the Red Sox. So uh, we do a lot of deep dives or semi-deep dives on the Genovese. Right now I'm going to give an update on some fast risers, up-and-comers, guys that are either you know recently made capos or uh, about to be made capos or guys that are capos and being talked about as future administrators. I'm going to talk about four different guys real quick. Um, start with... Peter Cataldo, a.k.a. Scarface, took over for his dad, Crazy Augie. Uh, guy, you know, younger guy, relatively. These are all guys that are mostly in their 50s. Um, and, you know, all these guys check a lot of boxes. You know, guys that are well-liked, big earners, and have fearsome reputations. And as we know, though, you know, those three things combined can take you very far in this world. So uh, Scarface Pete, um, move over to another uh, Jersey guy, Lodi Pete Leconte um, is a guy that uh, expert in uh, sanitation racketeering, comes from New Jersey. Not sure if he's a capo yet, but there is talk that he's in line for a bump up. Uh, took a bust uh, for for uh, racketeering within the trash industry ten more than ten years ago. Uh, did some time and uh, is now out and about uh, man about town and has a lot of trust in him from from the higher ups. Uh, moving on, a guy with a reputation that precedes him almost anywhere he goes. Uh, Salvatore Larca Jr., A.K. Sally K.O. Um, see him here with Armand Asante. Uh, don't believe he's a capo yet either, or if he is, it's it's pretty fresh. But he's another guy that is being, I don't want to say fast track to capo, but a guy that will be a, a, a skipper soon. Um, you know, this guy, you know, is somebody that. When you hear his name, a lot of people start to kind of shake in their boots. Um, but people that know him really love him. Uh, he's got a lot of hardcore loyalists and uh, say he's a sweetheart when he's not mad. So Sally KO, Sally KO is a guy to keep an eye out. And then finally, let's talk about, you know, the guy that's probably the next new administrator in the Genovese from what I'm hearing, uh, Hippie Zanfordino. Um a guy that's loved by the big guy, Barney, loved by uh, who I'm told is is the heir apparent, uh, Ralphie, the undertaker, Balsamo. Um, he's a guy that was promoted to capo at some point in the last couple of years. Uh, and I'm told he'll probably be slotting into uh, a street boss position, possibly when Danny Pagano phases out. You know, he's getting older. Um, there's talk about maybe Mickey Ragusa coming back and taking the street boss position that he had once or staying as an acting underboss. But uh, I think Hippie will be in the hierarchy in the next couple of years, if not sooner. Um, you know, this is a dude that knows how to make money. He's very well connected uh, across New York City's five families. He is a guy that Barney and the Chin and Benny Megano, uh, Benny Eggs used to, you know, utilize as a uh, a gopher and as a guy that um, was very trusted to deliver messages from you know different crime families, you know, two different crime families from New York, and he was somebody that was known to have one at one point drove for Benny Eggs, uh, the Chin's underboss, so. Look for him to be making some some waves in the pecking order very soon. Scott Bernstein, OG Pot. Please spread the word, share, sub, subscribe, or 
subscribe, same thing. Subscribe, uh, like, spread the word. Uh, all the latest greatest. I can't speak. Latest breaking news in organized crime here and on our companion website, The Gangster Report. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. Thank you.